uh, we have this gig coming up where um, I need to, well, we want to play a Get You Dirty um, for this gig that we have coming up at Kelly's Olympian where Amy Blue's on the bill and the reason being that she sang the backup vocals on the uh, original version and we'd like to bring her up and sort of reprise that live. The trick is that we've never done that live with drums before so our stupid drummer needs to learn how to count to 11 um, without messing up. And so, um, for me, that's because the, uh, so the, the call and response section that Amy sings over is in 11, uh, sort of subtly in 11, but I still have to play it and hit it. So, um, it's best to think of it as like a five plus six. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, and three, four, five, one, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, mm, ah. Uh. Two, uh, uh, one, two, and three, four, five, one, two, and three, four, five, six. And I can play that all the live long day just with my hands, but I need to also sing it. So I'm just going to kind of peel back here and let you see the process that I would do as a singing drummer to get up to speed and challenge myself on something where I have to kind of I don't already have an autopilot ready. Like I need to build an autopilot in my mind for 11 and not drop the beat while at the same time kind of nailing that. Now I'm sure that when I do this, cause I've not really prep, I'm actually practicing right now, something that I actually don't know how well I can do it. Um, so I'm sure I'm gonna mess up um, or it's, it's likely that I'll mess up. Maybe I won't, but I probably will. And part of practicing and you know, when you do this in private, of course, you got to give yourself permission to not be good at the thing you're not good at and to just do it and launch into it. Um, and so that kind of extends to, I'm going to go ahead and mess up in front of you potentially in this video. So the first thing that I'm going to do is kind of slow it down and uh, really try to focus on, fortunately for me, the thing I have to sing gives me some time to recover. I don't have to sing over the bar at all in this because I'm doing the call and then here comes the response. So um, I'm going to just first focus on getting that five plus six and a very simple version of that kind of under my uh, fingers here. So again, so like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. And I don't care what I hit really. It's just to me the, the hallmarks of like you know, guiding people through this is first, I want to hit one strong for both the five and the six. And then I want to hit that and of two, that little waltzy feel thing, that, um, strong. And then I want to, in any form that comes to me, and I don't need it to be consistent at all, and it can be simple or it can be a little more adventurous, I want to spell out four, five, and four, five, six. So again, it's like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now, now that we've done it a couple times, now let me just try to, at some point in there, I'm gonna do it and then start bringing the vocal in on top of it. And like I said, probably at first just keep it simple and then make it more. Okay, so.
that, uh, so on a positive note, um, I can, I'm feeling much more comfortable that, hey, it's even simpler than I really analyzed or remembered that that's going to be easy to drop in because it, I really can just sort of get the words out, hold the note and return my mental energy to counting. But the thing that I noticed that I did more than once, uh, and I probably didn't even notice every time I did it is I tended to slip to doing a whole lot of five and forgetting to alternate five and six. Uh, they're so similar, and so it like kind of felt like a green light to me when I would hit five when I should have been hitting six. It felt like, okay, well, I know how that goes. That is something that I have kind of an autopilot for, um, for whatever reason. <laughs> but I haven't played that a whole lot either, but apparently that's something I can do in my sleep. So as I continue to practice it, what it's really going to come down to is um, I need to probably play along with the recording and um, keep it honest and really focus on that, okay, uh, taking a moment to, for instance, know, okay, this word is followed by five, and then this thing that's happening, Amy is followed by six, or... I need to like have in my head it's a rule and like be confident that hey I could fall back on some things that are more than just like feeling my way through it. Anyway, I know this was kind of long, but hopefully it was somewhat helpful to sort of peel back and look at how I would approach something as a singing drummer. Um, you know, trying to build a new autopilot real quickly so that I can sing something that's a little bit outside the ordinary, outside of what I usually play. All right, well, wish me luck, and, um, hey, till next time. Dirty is the late, late night, gonna get up early, but before I sleep, gonna get you dirty, no dark. No dark. You can swallow up. Can you swallow up. This night. This night. So bright. So bright. No dark. No dark. You can swallow up. Amy Blue.